Hello, boys and girls. Today we are reading a book called Arr, Mustache Baby. It was written by Bridget Hayos, and the illustrations were by Joy Ang. Baby Billy was born with a mustache. Baby Javier was born with a beard. Usually, they were fine gentlemen. Usually, hmm, what does that mean? But occasionally, Billy's mustache curled up at the ends, and Javier's beard grew pointier. Then, well, ye shall have to wait and see. Oh, oh, what does that mean? Let's see. One day, Javier and Billy set sail across the seven seas. Ahoy! As captain and first mate, they rescued shipwrecked passengers. Saved stranded whales and fought mightily against menacing sea monsters. Oh, look at that stranded whale! <laughs> oh, and boys and girls, look at that menacing sea monster! <gasps> oh, day saved! Good job, boys! By and by, Javier and Billy floated off to become fishermen, explorers. Submarine scientists, entertainers on a cruise ship, and finally, navy sailors. For trouble was brewing at sea. Two pirates by the names of Captain Kidd and Short John Silver had stolen a treasure and buried it. Oh no! Oh, how's this gonna play out? Javier and Billy vowed to get it back to its rightful owners. Off they sail to where X marked the spot. Do you see the X, children? Do you see where where the X marks the spot? <gasps> That's where the treasure is. Hmm. After digging and digging, they at last held the treasure in their arms. Oh yay! Let's see what treasure they have. Looks like sunglasses and a beach ball and a. Doll and a snorkel gear, and I'm not too sure what those hoops are. But just as they were returning it, a strange ship appeared alongside them. Shiver me timbers! It was Captain Kidd and Short John Silver. <gasps> Javier and Billy tried to paddle away, but the pirates were bristling for a fight. They ready their cannons and took aim. Fire in the hole! Oh. The pirates boarded the besieged ship and demanded the treasure. Oh gosh, that's not very nice. Never! This was Javier's ship. Javier's rules: no pirates allowed. Javier challenged Captain Kidd to a duel. Ooh, I hope Javier wins. Make that a duel, duel on guard! Oh, oh my! Let's see who's gonna win. Billy and Javier were no longer playing nice. With each swipe, Billy's mustache grew and curled up at the ends, and with every swat, Javier's beard grew longer and pointier. Soon, Billy had a bad guy mustache. And、Javier had a bad guy beard. Oh no! Does that mean our hero has turned into the bad guy? What? What's going on? Ooh, let's read on, shall we? Arr, mateys! They were pirates now. Oh goodness me! Captain Kidd and Short John Silver made a final lunge for the treasure, only to have it whisked away by their whiskered rivals. The pillaging pirates. Pinched the prize for themselves. Now they wanted more, more, more. Oh my goodness! Oh no! Not our, not our heroes. Oh! The baby buccaneer sacked every sailor at sea. Then the pine-sized pirates dropped anchor and looted the landlubbers. What feasting! What fun! Yo ho! Oh no! So heavy was their ship that they could no longer set sail.、Hmm? I guess they stole too much, huh? Avast! The pirates were caught and forced to stand trial. 
guilty they were and sent to the dungeon. Their cells were grim places, yet somehow they managed to sleep well like babies. <laughs> When they awoke, Javier and Billy regretted their raiding and ransacking. They wished they could be heroes again. With a little help, they made a daring escape. <gasps> nice. Hopefully, they'll be the good guys now. To show how sorry they were, they swabbed the decks, returned the loot, and shook hands with Captain Kidd and Short John Silver. In the time, in time, the four became the merriest of mates, and sometimes the rottenest of yo rogues. Yo ho! Oh, I'm. So So glad that Billy and Javier became good guys again. What about you, boys and girls? I really enjoyed this story. I really, really like pirate stories. You know, boys and girls. If you like the story and you want to hear more, subscribe and follow the channel. In the meantime, remember to read like a berry, live like a berry, and play like a berry. Until next time, bye.